Hey, Ming Tsai here from Simply Ming. I want to show you two cool Brevo products, the Scraper Mixer Pro and the Smart Oven. What are we making? A cranberry orange soda bread. Super simple, all right? All you need to do is first put all the dry ingredients. So we have all-purpose flour, we have sugar, we have a little bit of salt. You have to have salt, right, when you make cakes and breads, and just a little bit of soda, baking soda, all right? On low, just mix it slowly, all right, just to incorporate, all right? Then I'm gonna get all the liquids together. So I have one egg, then I'm just gonna beat. Oh, get that shell out. Don't want a shell, bye-bye. We add it to some buttermilk. We have the juice of an orange and it's zest, all right? So you get a nice orange flavor. You need that one egg, just helps the bread come together. All right. So that's good to go now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this slowly on the side, just to get that in. All right, the mixer does all the work. You don't need to go any faster because you actually don't want it to come out. There is an attachment that works pretty well, the plastic one, but I figured don't rush it. Just let it come together itself. Okay, now we're gonna add some chilled cute butter. All right. And let that just incorporate. You don't need to make it totally homogenous. You want little pieces. And last but not least, some dried cranberries. And don't ever dump it at once. Put a little bit at a time so the blade can take it, this paddle, and fully incorporate it. All right, that looks pretty darn good. Now we can turn this off. Just open it up. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. So all you need is just a little bit of bench flour now. On the table, a little bit on your hands so you can get this all out. And you wanna just, not really knead it that much, but you just wanna get it so that all the, um, you wanna be able to form it, all right? So take off this blade, there we go. That comes out. And again, a little flour on your hands. You can take this and put it right on a clean table. All right. Then, again, a little bit of flour. And you want to knead it. Just push it with the hand. And we're just going to shape it into a nice round piece of bread. So it's called soda bread, right? It's really tastes more like a cake in my opinion, but as you can tell, there was not a lot of sugar. Knead it, and then once you have a nice round shape, you actually can then take it and you form it like this, right? Keep it round, a little bit down, right? You don't need to let this rest or rise because it's not yeast, it's baking soda. I'm gonna just take a paring knife, do a little cross, like that, all right? goes right on the baking sheet. Boom, baby. Now into the smart oven. Have it set for 350 degrees. I'm gonna cook it 30 to 40 minutes till a toothpick comes out clean. Let's let the magic oven do its thing. All right, so after 45 minutes, oh, look at that soda bread. Oh my God, how does that look? Oh yeah. I might let it rest for a little bit, but you know what? This looks so good. Let's get to it. Why not? Check this out. Ow. Mm -mm -mm. How's that look? Right? So soda bread, traditionally, you would have jams, confitures, butter. But look at that. How pretty is that? All right, let's have a little piece of this. See how we did. Oh, my God. It's delicious. It's not sweet at all, but for kids, because of the cranberries and that little bit of sugar, they might think it's cake. And as always, peace and good eating. Major funding is provided by Breville. Presenting the Breville Smart Oven. 
It has heating elements that adjust to what you're cooking. The Breville Smart Oven. You can learn more at brevilleusa.com.